Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. And today, ciao, it's messy, honey. It's messy, honey. Nico, I actually saw this pop off on the timeline. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for more exclusive videos, weekly lives, and to be a part of the live streams that happen every Thursday at 5.30 and 7 p.m. CDT. Just know that all week you're going to see me in this outfit because I'm bulk recording before I head to the airport to go to London. Nico, hip hip chiri oh bitch, we about to be in Europe, but... Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started on the actual conversation. But before that, here is last week's comment. I never enjoy gay for pay content to begin with. I actually prefer standard gay, bisexual, trans content creators that make genuine content that they enjoy themselves. And I actually agree with that. I will say, I'm not going to come up on here and lie and say that some of these men aren't fine. Air Thugger, very attractive man. James Angel, attractive man with a nice butt. Flashman Wade, <laughs> God to your ass. Nico, I, I always come on here and I'm very real. I'm very respectful about it. That man's butt made him a millionaire. That's the tea. But I'm more so against people blatantly scamming you. For example, when Flashman Wade first came onto the scene, he never said that he was gay. He never alluded to him being bi. He never even did toy play. He simply said, I have a nice butt and y'all want to see it. Boom, bam, you make your money. If that's the case, you can't choose which demographic finds you attractive. It's when we get into the situations of Air Thugger faking content or James Angel faking content and lying on queer content creators, that whole John Johnson situation, or when Grandy Glaze was basically faking content on Twitter saying he was going to do this and that, this and that to get you to subscribe and then never follow through. That's what I don't agree with. I don't agree with people scamming people out of their money with false advertisement. But yeah, on to the video. Boop. As you saw, I had to add in editing Nico because I need to get this fresh off my dome after reading over 20 screenshots. Nico, so I watched this happen in live action. Basically, it was late night. I was scrolling through Twitter cinematography when a mutual who I've actually interviewed before posted like a disturbing tweet, basically calling out a performer called I Top Tops 404. This performer is Drummer Boy. I actually did an interview about him and his time in Coco Dorm and, you know, the studio scene before OnlyFans because he has been in the industry since the early 2000s, which was very enlightening, very good. We all enjoyed it for the most part. From what I saw, the comments were saying that they wanted, you know, a second session. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, especially after this, because I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair to every party now that I have seen both sides of the story. Because if I'm being quite honest, everybody played a wrong part in this, but Drummer Boy was wrong for lying on this man. So let's get into the story. Essentially, Drummer Boy came online and said, hey, if any of you guys see footage of me and I Top Tops 404, let me know because I will report it, seeing as how I am uncomfortable being on camera with someone who is severely under the influence of substances. I do not want to be associated with that and or that look. So if you see anything, give me the heads up because I had a very tumultuous experience with him. Now, from there, I was curious because it was a random upload and he had screenshot of text messages, but the text messages were cropped especially the one where he went into detail saying it was just the drugs you know you couldn't get hard i didn't like your energy on the drugs it was yo it was just yo and then i looked at it and i saw the timestamp was cut off that sent off red flags to my head because i'm like okay you kept the timestamp in every other text message why did you remove it on that one so from that part 
I Top Tops 404 came out because at this point you're putting him on blast and you're trying to attach his name to illegal substances to basically give him a bad reputation while also saying you had a negative interaction with him. From there, I had to jump through hoops to get the rest of the story. Nico, rather than, you know, commenting on Twitter, because I Top Tops 404, after he posted all 20 plus screenshots on Snapchat, Snapchat, girl, who has used Snapchat since like 2012? So I had to log into Snapchat and so <laughs> I got the screenshots, but he was going on a rant on Twitter saying, yeah, cleared, you don't lie on me, don't come for me, blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, if you're going to send out a series of tweets, you might as well just tweet the story. But I got the information, and honestly, Drummer Boy lied on him to a certain degree, but it wasn't completely false. So the story from iTop Tops 404's perspective is essentially he agreed to film with Drummer Boy, and he told him to come already opened and pre, you know, plunged, if you know what I mean, because he wants easy access and all of this stems from him being a rude and impatient top. Nico, from the way he was describing him, from the way he was describing the situation, down to the text messages, it clearly showed he had blatant disdain for Drummer Boy for the sole fact that he kept saying, hey, can you go slower? Hey, can you add more lubricant? You're too big. Hey, do you have marijuana so I can help relax myself and maybe that'll help it, you know, do better? So i top tops 404 was upset with drummer boy insulting him saying you're a slut and you're supposed to be able to take it and you're supposed to just be an open hole for me to ram through and it got so bad that they kept stopping during filming and going to different locations and eventually just said you know what i'm tired of it let's just go to someone's apartment if you do not know i top tops 404 his whole shtick is like making videos in public parks which y'all know i am completely against because that's where children and families meet up for like socializing reasons point is he was getting upset with drummer boy because he was not relaxed enough to open up at these parks in a hot stairwell so they eventually went to the third party's apartment who he referred to as a hoe not a friend not an associate he was a hoe like drummer boy so it goes to show that he doesn't necessarily respect anybody in this conversation He's just treating them like walking orifices, if that makes sense. So they get back to the third person's apartment to try to finish the film. And he's fed up because Drummer Boy is still saying, you're too big to just be slamming into me like that. And he's mad because he said, I want you to come pre-plunge opened up. And you came right after a nap saying that you're sleepy and that you need to unwind. That's annoying to me that I had to take the time to open you up when you're a veteran in the game. And in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking, just because somebody has a lot of consensual, super happy adult fun time, doesn't mean that they're going to be gaped and ready at all hours, all days of the week. You know what I mean? Like the human body still closes back up, especially if you exercise. Fitness is essentially Kegels. It will tighten you back up. So to expect him to just be like a hot dog in a hallway is kind of ridiculous, especially if the man just woke up. So I understood the frustration of not being able to properly film when you wanted it to be a specific look. But after they got into it, Drummer Boy essentially went into the restroom and the third party in I Top Tops 404 continued to mess around until the third party said, hey, I'm going to go check on him. And after a few whispers in the bathroom, he saw Drummer Boy come out of the restroom fully dressed and he said, hey, I'm going to head out. I don't know. Maybe the vibe's just all tonight. And I top tops 404 was rude and said, clearly, you have clothes on. And he was annoyed because Drummer Boy left his bag in the third party's car. So they all had to go grab it. From there, Drummer Boy, while gathering his things to head to the car, asked him, hey, I'd hope that you would still send me the video. And I top tops 404 cut him off and said, of course, I'm going to send you the video. I'm not a bad guy. And Drummer Boy said, I'm not saying you're a bad guy. I'm just saying I hope you would still send me the video after everything that happened. Maybe it's not up to snuff. And he said, I told you what I was going to do. I'm going to make a preview. I'm going to send it to you. Stop talking to me like I'm a bad guy. So he's just blatantly disrespecting this dude like to his face back to back to back to back until they go out to go get his bag, which drummer boy slams the gate door in his face. And that sends him off basically saying, I'll beat you, blah, 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 blah. They start threatening to fight each other outside the apartments. 
and drummer boy walks off and they continue to go back and forth in text messages from here vile things were said by both of them drummer boy says something colorist basically calling him a muddy skin or something like that and basically saying i top tops 404 is age fishing he's not really 34 and he looks a lot harder in the appearance than he made him think he would when he sent the pictures to collaborate and then i top tops 404 said he was ashy he stunk he didn't know how to take pipe he was just used up and i'm just sitting here like all of this started because you would not ease into somebody but at the same time i will say because when i looked at the situation just alone i was on drummer boy's side until he came online to lie about i top tops being on substances because i top tops had the receipts he posted the screenshot and you could see he texted those it was just you being on them drugs you know it's just it made me feel so uncomfortable he texted him that two minutes before he made that post on twitter meaning he was trying to frame him to make it look like he was on substances and that was the reason why this collaboration fell through basically throwing him under the mud because he was being rude to him which i understand he was being rude to you but lying on somebody like that when that could seriously mess up their career is not cool and that's me coming from somebody who has had conversations with drummer boy who has interviewed him i'm gonna hold you responsible it's not right the way he treated you i'm gonna be very upfront about that he was disrespectful he was rude both physically and verbally but coming online to take that back out on him by lying on his name saying he's on substances knowing that that's going to mess up future collaborations is not cool so on both sides i'm just sitting here like y'all are beefing and cruising at parks y'all are fighting mid threesomes y'all are lying on each other about being on substances and that's not the end of the story because they then set up a second meetup to try to finish the filming and when they got to the park that time i top tops 404 was just over it because once again he needed to open him up he wanted him to just be able to get rammed essentially and drummer boy is like no you need to actually treat me like a human being when we're having intercourse so from there i top top storms off and leaves him alone in an abandoned park while it's raining and drummer boy is saying hey did you really just leave me can you come back i don't have wi-fi i can't like call an uber is not giving me a proper signal and he said nah just figure it out you grown you got that by yourself you can get home by yourself and i'm just sitting here like you don't understand why people treat you the way they do because of how you act like who treats somebody that they're having intercourse with like that that's just absurd so once again this entire interaction left nobody looking good if i'm being quite honest because if drummer boy had just came online and said hey this person was an ass this person just disrespected me from start to finish and he lied about his physical appearance and age that would be a whole conversation that drummer boy could have walked out with looking good but the fact that you came online to lie about him being on substances to add an extra layer of oh this person is bad basically demonizing people that are addicted to substances i don't co-sign that that part is where i look at you and i say you are too grown to be lying like that and i say that because even when they were going back and forth being disrespectful in text messages the conversation of substances never came up that was never a talking point until you added it in that tweet so i don't think that's cool at whatsoever but once again i top tops 404 you are mad disrespectful like and the fact that i had to scan through 20 snapchat posts just to get all that information annoyed me but with that information, I'll leave the conversation up to y'all. How do y'all feel about Drummer Boy coming online and basically confronting Itatas404 for how he treated him privately, but also adding on a lie that could possibly stay in his career, in my opinion? How do you feel about Itatas404 basically being disrespectful to the people he's having intercourse with, treating them like walking orifices that should already be pre-gaped and open by the time they arrive at him. He wants to just be able to slam it in. He doesn't want to have to treat you kindly. He doesn't want to have to be gentle. He wants to be able to get this done easy and quick. But with that, I'll leave the conversation up to y'all and I can't wait to see the responses. Boop. And now for a brief yet sincere shout out to this week's third eye tier subscribers, Alan H and Edwin. Your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel.
And this week's live stream is unfortunately canceled on August 8th because I'm currently in England. But I can't wait to see you guys next week and to pump out some travel vlogs. So until then, I'll see you later.